All right, so we got video six. It's been quite some time since my last post. Um, I think I actually did a couple days in a row in the, in the last two times, but I've had about three days of work, um, just kind of here and there. So, uh, you know, unfortunately, when I I haven't even had so many days in a row where I can really kind of get a roll on anything. But uh, that being said, I've I'll just kind of go through what I've done, and uh, you know, I've been a little bit frustrated with the amount of time I've had, but uh, just to kind of go through what I've done. Uh, removed the front end again and shaved off the fender tabs for the front uh, for the lowers so you can see these actually came out really good these ones were not chromed like the last ones <clears throat> which made the job itself a lot easier and they'll come out much much cleaner actually got to give these a final sand um, I'll probably do a couple like with like a 800 grid or something and then like a thousand grid or 1200 something super high um, and just get those really smooth. I'm, I'm doing the gloss black, so all that kind of stuff just needs to be about perfect, or you, you'll pretty much notice any imperfection. So um, just try to get as perfect as possible on those. I have uh, done the put the controls on the uh, foot controls, which is obviously nothing major. Put the uh, um, the new pegs on as well as the the shifter pegs. So again, nothing. Nothing major. The uh, brake side itself uh, added the master cylinder, went back to like a stock rear brake line. This one had the extended, uh, it was a, a stainless braided line that was, that was a little bit longer for those foot extensions, but uh, also reshaped the brake arm itself a bit. I'll probably end up doing a, a drill pattern or a hole pattern in that and uh, mounted the uh, brake peg itself. I may actually go with it with a sh small extension on the uh, brake pe pedal itself as well. Uh, what else have I done? Uh, the headlight's been raised, so I did the brackets for the headlight, which now you can see the uh, the profile here. It, at least in my eyes, this is just much better, this kind of shape here. So that's basically all I was going for with that. Uh, the frame cover, which I'll, I'll, I'll get into, the, the tank itself I've been using for mock-up, and I, I really, really like this tank, actually. The more I've been kind of looking at it, uh, I, the more I, I actually like it. So it's, you know, this, these are just my preferences. Obviously, not, not everyone's going to like this. What I would like to do is, or what I ultimately, you know, w would like to be is not have that frame gusset in the uh, frame itself which I'm sure you've seen if you've watched previous videos and I'd like to just cut that out but and I know people have done it but uh, I, I just don't really trust that for the integrity of the bike this bike will be for sale you know eventually at some point when it's done and I just you know don't think the new owner would really appreciate that you know someone that doesn't know exactly uh, I, I, again, like I said, I know people have done it. I don't know that they know exactly what they're doing and if that makes a difference. Uh, the, the rail in the middle of these bikes here, because it's a twin cam, it, is nothing. This has no structural support whatsoever. It's basically there to, to hold the coil. Um, you know, that there's no purpose for that. And so this is a completely open frame. And it being a soft tail, you know, you get a lot of, of rigidity, it being... Uh, having those, you know, there and then a separate swing arm. So, you know, that being said, this, this, I just believe, you know, the way that these frames are made probably is as least expensive as possible, uh, that that probably has something. So anyway, I just kind of wanted to go over that. And that's the reason that I do do this frame cover. It's not that I particularly love that look at all. Although when that is black and the tank is something a little bit different, I think that, you know, it does really blend in and it, it, it will have a cool look. But um, that being said, that's just the reason that I do that. Uh, that uh, Again, with that, this needs to be remade. I mean, uh, it'll be probably about an hour job, actually, at this point, because I've already done this. But uh, I want this line to come right up against here, and then we'll round it off, uh, you know, so it's past this rail. I, I cut that a little bit short once I got it all mounted up, I realized. So uh, I'll just bend the metal and then put that over it, trace it, cut it. 
uh, you know, re redo the rear end, obviously. So that's probably only be about an hour job. It won't be too bad at this point. Uh, you can probably see that the coils relocated now. It's up in this area, although the cover's still sitting on there. I, I haven't decided which way I want to go, so I probably wasted about a day if I if I do go this way, making that little housing that I made previously. Um, but either way, you know, it's just going to depend on, on, on the look I'm going for. Uh, also, I didn't mention, I, I made this kind of bracket. This is a, a master cylinder, you know, that I, I actually got this a while for the last bike at one point, um, you know, from a guy that made this. And uh, I ended up making the bracket here for it. And then I'll still have to make a pivot point up on here for the, uh, or a bracket, I guess you could just say, for the cable itself. But the idea here is that the cable will come in this way, and then as it pulls, it'll, you know, obviously actuate the master cylinder. Um, this, I'm, the bracket that I made is just basically made to go up in here. Uh, I can't really do it with one hand, but inside the frame rail there, it's just right above the uh, voltage regulator and in front of the uh, oil filter. So I haven't made the bracket for the actual cable itself, but uh, also, you know, just started playing around with the actual seat frame, which this will probably be somewhat the base of it. I just kind of started this. And that'll be for actually other videos that I'm going to get into that. And then I'm also looking at possibly doing like a grill type thing or, a, you know, spoiler. I, I don't really like to call it spoiler because my mine will just be pretty mellow here. Uh, but like a dirt guard or rock guard, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I'll probably just do the, this is kind of the framework that I kind of started with on that. So it will scoop a little bit, but actually when you're looking at it on the frame, it's, it's a bit different. So, uh, this was just kind of, again, nothing major. I haven't done any welding or anything on that. The fender, oh shit, I didn't put it on there. But the uh, fender here, I just cut off a back, you probably saw that over there. I just cut off a section of the, the rear of it here. Uh, and then, I guess you can kind of th throw this on here real quick. I guess that's not going to give you a great look, but, um, you know, somewhere, something like that. So anyway, just keep an eye out for the next videos. I guess it'll probably be about another week or, or plus, who knows, for the next ones. But, um, you know, I'd like to get out here a little bit more and start getting some more progress done and, and uh, get this thing off to powder and paint and get it done. So keep an eye out.